Good morning. Good morning, Bethany. Faith community. Oh, but I'll open a heart and mind. I'll open door. And then also encountering the life of Jesus Christ, life giving, life healing, life enriching, life saving of Jesus Christ. Welcome all, Bethany members and friends. Especially welcome our visitors today. And you are invited to come to see me before you leave. We want to offer the blessing, prayer blessing to you. So uh, would you please come at Coffee Cafe at the, um, by the... Um, so members, would you please lead our guests to come there. My name is Munza Paulsong. I'm a new pastor of Bethany since July the 1st. I'm very grateful and delightful to serve you. Now, uh, please uh, welcome each other to see who are here. Would you please turn around by waving hands, and we are not allowed to hug yet because of pandemic, but turn around, waving hands to see who are here to worship God together, especially welcome our guests and family as well. Would you please read the announcements printed uh, in the worship bulletin to update all the events and then happening programs of Bethany Church? And then also, uh, please update our list of uh, prayer concerns. So if you have an updated new name that you want us to pray, please contact the church office, Adele, so that uh, she can update it weekly base. Please do that. And also, please bring each individual name during our uh, congregational prayer at uh, worship, during the worship. That's what we will do. And one of the longtime members of Bethany, Mr. Arch Lee, passed this past Friday. And so we will have a service here at Bethany Congregation tomorrow at 10 o'clock, 10 in the morning followed by the reception. So, oh, 11. Mm-hmm. So service 11. Service 11 o'clock at Bethany Congregation. And then visitation will be today, this afternoon, from mm-hmm, 6.30 to 8 at Hogue Funeral Home. Yep. Please make it uh, correct. Visitation this afternoon from 6.30 to 8 at Hope Funeral Home. And then funeral service will be here tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, followed by the reception at the fellowship hall. And then also we received the, um, from the annual conference about our pandemic alertness about uh, Delta variants, which is increasing in the state of Virginia and nationwide. And an annual conference sent us the email to watch for it in community by community so that we can keep our health and safe from it. So please, um, we recommend you to take a full uh, vaccination. And if you're not, we recommend you to wear the mask when you come to worship. And then all vaccinated and not vaccinated, all are recommended to stay safe distance and also follow our PRG guidelines so far. So let us keep it together. Invite you to share announcements today. Suzanne? Um, I wanted to thank everybody for your prayers for Decatur. Um, we got the blood test back, and Dr. Cullen said that he's eliminated everything. He just has a muscle strain. We are thrilled to hear that. He's going to be in physical therapy starting in August. Um, I also wanted to um, request volunteers, uh, again, for BBS. I still need people um, to help with BBS. If you, have already, if you have already said that you'll volunteer, please come to me again. It's in the early weeks. I wasn't writing names down like I should have. I thought I could remember, and I didn't. So please come back and let me know if you've already told me that you want to help so I can write your name down and put you in the right place. 
Um, also, I want to thank you very much to Kathy Rains for helping to run the PowerPoint this morning. Um, it's a really easy job. All you have to do is just pay attention to the whole service and click the next slide. <laughs> when it's time for the next slide. Um, but if, if right now it's falling to just a few people, and it's such a simple job, but I'd love to have more volunteers so we can spread that responsibility out. So um, in the newsletter that goes out twice a week, there's a link that you can sign up, or you can just call me and say, hey, I'd like to sign up for a couple of days. So thank you, guys. Thank you. Other announcements? Share the joy today. Birthday, anniversary. We give our thanks to you all. Let us worship God together. Please stand for the call to worship. <clears throat> As darkness falls, God of gentleness, Wrap us in your comfort. As the stars spring forth in the sky, may we know that you have blessed us even in the your universe. We are filled with awe when we ponder things so far beyond our imaginations, and yet we know that you care for each one of us. Thank you, God, for knowing our innermost selves. At the same time, creating universe. Thank you, God, for giving us time of rest after the working of the daylight hours. Even in the darkness, we know that your light always leads us. Amen. Our opening hymn is for the beauty of the earth on the screen and page 92 in your hymnal. For the beauty of the earth, for the lifters of the skies, for the love which over my breath, over and around us lies. Lord of all to thee we raise, as our hymn of grateful for the beauty of each hour of the day and of the night hill and vale and tree and flower sun and moon and stars of light lord of all to thee we raise grace of him of great For the joy of ear and eye, for the heart and mind's delight, for the mystic harmony, linking sense to sound and sight. Lord of all, to Thee we raise, praise our team of grateful. For the joy of human love, brother, sister, parent, child, friends on earth and friends above, for all gentle thoughts and mild. Lord of all, to thee we raise this fragrance of grateful praise. For thy church that evermore Lifted holy hands above Offering upon every shore Her pure sacrifice of love Lord of all to thee we raise Praise our him of graceful Continue to stand for the affirmation of faith, the Apostles' Creed, page 80, 81 in your hymnal, as well as on the screen. I 
I believe, I believe in, in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker, maker of, of heaven, heaven and earth, earth and, and in, in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, Son our, Lord, our Lord, who was, who was conceived, conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate and was crucified, crucified dead, and dead and buried. And buried. The third day he rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sitteth at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. And if you join me in our opening prayer. Almighty God, you are no, enough for sure. us. You give, give us rest in soft fields, fields and beside whispering streams. streams. You restore, restore and renew and us and lead, lead us, us into life-giving ways. When, when death, death and evil come, come close to us, us you, you carry, carry us through. through. You protect and comfort us. When others seek to do us harm, your grace uplifts and provides for us in public view. You fill us with your strength, and we enjoy overflowing abundance. We have confidence that your goodness and compassion will fill our days, and we will stay immersed in your life and presence forever. In, In Jesus', Jesus name, name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, it is our delightful day that we consecrate a new uh, acolyte. So we invite Betty uh, to come forward and uh, tell us about it. Betty? Well, first of all, it's really good to see everybody here. We're going to be back as normal as we can. And... Um, I'm, after many years of being the Acolyte Coordinator, I decided that it was time to pass the torch, there's a pun intended there, to someone else. <laughs> and um, as, as fate would have it, I'm back at it, and I'm very happy, happy to be doing this again for a while. Oh, and my favorite part of this is when we um, consecrate a new Acolyte. So Decatur, would you come forward, please? The, uh, just to review, uh, just to review the purpose of an acolyte, the light that the acolyte brings into the service reminds us of God's presence as we are at home and church and work and play. And at the end of the service, when the light leaves the service, it's a message that, that is sent to show that God will be present present in the community wherever we may be for the rest of the week until we come to church again. So today, we're ready okay. to consecrate Decatur, our new Zachary, here at Bethany. Decatur, how are you doing? Good. Good. Ready to go. Let us join together the act of consecration printed in your worship bulletin. Let us join together. Ministry is the work of God done by the people of God and given to each Christian as holy service. Through baptism, all Christians are made part of priesthood of all believers, the church made visible in the world. God in Christ, through the Holy Spirit, empowers us to live as witnesses of God's grace and love. We are bear witness in and through the life of the church, and to be faithful in our daily lives. Therefore, in celebration of our common ministry, I call upon all God's people gathered here. Remember your baptism and be thankful. I present it to you, Decatur Hogs, to be consecrated acolyte for the Ministry of Bethany United Methodist Church in Gloucester Point. 
Do you trust that he is worthy by God's grace to be consecrated? Will you love him? Uphold him in ministry of acolytes? Let us pray together. Almighty God, the giver of every good and perfect gift of serving, to whom all work must on consecrate it, we command to you, Decatur Hog, to be consecrated to serve in the ministry of Ecclite within your church. Grant to him the joy of serving. Empower him with strength for the performance of his service and understanding heart and a willingness to work with all others in the ministry of the church. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, we pray. Amen. Let us welcome him to our big hands. All right, welcome. Thank you. Let us open our hearts and mind, be the church together as we pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, O Lord, Almighty God, now we open our hearts and mind and lift them up to you. Lord, 
Hear our prayers. And we pray for your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Your will be done in our world, in our country. Your will be done in our churches in general. And your will be done, United Methodist, Bethany United Methodist, close to point, as it is in heaven. Let your peace, your justice, your righteousness, your mercy on us, on all your people. God, hear our prayers. And we pray for your churches in general worldwide. And we pray for the life and mission and ministry of your church in Bethany here. Pray for all the programs, ministries, activities. We pray for all the church leaders who provide the leadership. We pray for your blessing upon them, your wisdom, your guidance, power of the Holy Spirit. Lord, hear our prayers. And we pray for all people in hunger, poor, suffering worldwide, suffered from natural disasters, suffer from violence. Lord, comfort them, strengthen them. Give them your ways. Lord, hear our prayers. Now we lift up, O oh Lord, all Bethany members and friends who are in sicknesses, illnesses, and now we name them to you, O oh Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 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 Family of Arch Lee, Lord, hear our prayers. We give our thanks for the life and faith and service and ministry in the world that your servant, Arch, had lived, and now you received him gracefully in your eternal home. We give our thanks, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Forgive our sins, O Lord, that we have sinned out of our fault, desires, during the past weeks, in thoughts, in word, in deeds, in what we have done and we have left undone. Have mercy on us and forgive and renew our hearts and mind, O oh Lord, so that we can continue to grow in your love, in your grace, Heavenly Father. Lord, hear our prayers. Now we pray in silence our 
individual prayer. O Lord, continue to hear and answer our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. And now we pray together the Lord's Prayer that he taught us to do. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins as we forgive those sins against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
Now let us offer ourselves to God as a living sacrifices, and let us offer God's tithes and offerings and gifts to God together. And I shall invite you to come forward. Let us pray. We give our thanks for this time of giving thanks to you, invisible sign. Lord, we offer ourselves to you. And also we offer this thanksgiving to you, O Lord, through dropping in the plate, through mailing to the church, and also through online system. Receive us and receive them. Bless us and bless them and use us and use them for your kingdom come for your will be done. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. Please be seated and join me in the prayer of illumination. Lord, Lord open our open hearts, hearts and minds by, by the power of the Holy Spirit, Spirit that as the scriptures are read, are read and your, and your word, word proclaimed, we may hear with joy what you, you say to us today. Us today. Amen. Amen. Our Old Testament reading today is in Psalms 121. Verses 1 through 8. I lift up my eyes to the hills, and where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. 
He, will, he, he who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. Our hymn of medication, Spirit of the Living God, on the screen and 393 in your hymnal. Spirit of the living God, call afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, call afresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, call afresh on me. Our New Testament reading today comes from Mark 4. Verses 26 through 29. The parable of the growing seed. He also said, the kingdom of God is as if someone would scatter seed on the ground and would sleep and rise night and day and the seed would sprout and grow. He does not know how. The earth produces of itself, first the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. But when the grain is ripe, at once he goes in with his sickle because the harvest has come. The gospel of God, for the people of God, we give our thanks to God. Let us pray. Oh Lord, thank you for your word today. Speak to us. We are listening. In Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. One summertime, when I turned 50, I suffered from insomnia. After our family vacation, I couldn't sleep um, well for several days, not knowing why. And I went to my doctor and to find nothing specific. In my bio check and other, causing what insomnia really suffered me. But he gave me a prescription, sleeping pill. My insomnia lasted several weeks, several weeks, feeling half sleep during the day, headache, and then very depressive feeling during the night, fear and anxiety. And I came back to my doctor, and listening to my story, my doctor said, mm, your aging might cause you to have insomnia. <laughs> aging. <laughs> I was serious at the time. And he said, your body, hormone changes. Your body function changes, so your body cycle also changes as well. And then he gave me a new prescription, prescriptions. He said, do aerobic exercise every day, at least 30 minutes. And then build up your muscle, do whatever 
you do, you can build up your muscle, upper body and uh, lower body as well. And then take a healthy diet in supplication with vitamins and minerals. And he said, reduce your stress. It took three months after Christmas of that year before I finally came back to my normal cycle of sleep. Friends, sleep is one of our everyday things. Isn't it true? It is said that we sleep for a third of our lifetime. Think about it. Think about it. We spend a third of our lives just lying in a bed, doing nothing but breathing. Breathing out of our order automatic body system. We may ask this question, why did God design us to need sleep every day? Why? Imagine had God created us with no need to sleep at all, what would we be like, our life? Just imagine it. Will you be happy? We would be like a robot, living robotic life, like uh, having the uh, so-called AI artificial intelligence in us, working 24-7, feeling no fatigue, no limit for doing whatever we want to do to get whatever we get, or we would be short-lived, we would not survive. Either way. Now, our serious sermon on God and and everyday things, we want to meditate on our human sleep, resting at night. And also, what do we know of God by experience in our sleep? As we read the scripture passages for meditating us, meditating on that, I want to uh, meditate with you about three points in here about the human sleep. We, we do everyday things. First, we know sleep, sleep is a gift of God. Out of God's love, gift, gift of God. Now, psalmist express it in the poetic forms a song to sing when they worship God. In Psalm 127, verse 2, 2, can we read together? Let us read together. Unless it is the Lord who builds the house, the builder's work is pointless. Unless it is the Lord who protects the city, the guard on duty is pointless. It is pointless that you get up early, And stay up late, eating the bread of hard labor, because God gives sleep to those he loves. Out of God's love, sleep is a gift given to us. God does not want us to be exhausted or collapsed by work or labor during the day. But God wants us to rest in him. Rest in him. Secondly, we meditate on this point. We know that sleep is our confession of faith and a confession of of our trust. Faith. From the technical perspective, human sleep is... Like this, halting all activities and doing nothing except the breathing by autonomic body system functions. 
It is the most vulnerable and the defenseless time. Vulnerable time. From the theological, spiritual perspective, however, it is the time, time when we depend on God, trusting that God protects us. God watches over us when we are sleeping. We need to sleep, but God doesn't need. A psalmist, we, we, uh, we read it, psalmist is saying this way, God will not let your foot slip. God will not slumber. In other way, God will not sleeping. Be sleeping. God will not sleep and watches over you and protect you. The Lord works and He gives us sleep. God's eternal vigilance over us, even while we are sleeping, act of our faith and trust. Thirdly, sleep is our faith confession that God is sovereign, we are not. God is in control, we are not. God is God, we are human beings. And God continues to work, we don't, we can't. That's the way how God designed us. And we put our whole trust that God continue to work in his creation while we are sleeping. That's what we read, the gospel passage, the kingdom parable. The seed, once it planted, it grows day and night. While we're sleeping day and night by the grace of God. That is life, how our life of kingdom of God grow. When we read Genesis chapter 2, creation story, 21 the verses, God made a woman out of the rib of Adam while he was sleeping. God's creation continues. God works for the life of the kingdom of God growing in us while we are resting, while we are sleeping. And then God rests our body, which was tired, exhausted from the day's work and labor and in other activities. And then God hears our mind, God hears our emotions, wounded, hurts during the day. And we commit ourselves, our spirit, our body, our mind to the hands of God. Healing hands of God. And we sleep. Our concluding meditation is this. And then how do we put our awareness of God in our sleep? And then how do we put it into practice our daily lives? How do we have communion with God and practice to have a communion with God even during our sleeping? Communion with God, fellowship with God, who is working, who is continuing to create, who continues to heal us during our sleep. How do we do that? One of the ways is spiritual practice. Spiritual practice called self examine, self examination. It is a daily practice of a prayerful reflection on the events of the day in order to detect 
God's presence in us and see God's work in us, see God's hands in our life's experience. One classic spiritual discipline is called Ignatian self-examination. It was formed by St. Ignatius in the 16th century. It is formed of five steps, five steps for daily examine. And you can practice it every day, this, before you go to bed. As we see it, first step is become aware of God's presence. Aware of God's presence. And then review the day with gratitude, thanksgiving. And then pay attention to your emotion and feel what kind of emotion you have during the day. Your, your emotions. And then choose one future of the day and pray, pray from it. Bring it to God. Any specific emotions you uh, that it comes in your mind, still bothering you. Bring it to God in prayer. And then, look forward tomorrow. New creation. God would bring to you. As Prophet Jeremiah says, morning by morning, new mercies. Morning by morning, new mercies. I see. Every day is God's day for you to give as a gift to live a new life. Look forward tomorrow. Another way, very common way of practicing the daily um, spiritual examination can be found in Psalm 139. Especially read verse 24 to 25. And then you can build up your own, your own self, daily self-examination using these psalm passages before you go to bed as well. First one, pray, search me, O Lord, search me, O God, and know my heart. Bring your heart to God. Invite God to come to you. Help God to search your heart. Awareness. And then test me and know my anxiety. Anxious thoughts. And present your feeling, your feeling, whatever the feeling you may be experienced during the day. And then bring it to God. And then see if there is any offensive way in me. And see what any kind of offensiveness you brought to anyone, to yourself or family or your colleagues, anyone, offensiveness. In word, in thoughts. Any sinful thoughts and sinful behaviors. Bring it to God. Prayer of forgiveness. And then, final line he says, and lead me in the way everlasting. Trust in the love and grace of God. Trust. Trust God's healing during the day while you're sleeping. Trusting God's restoring your soul during the sleep at night. And trusting God's forgiveness, forgiveness through Jesus Christ. And then go to bed, sleep. Practice this daily basis. Jesus said, I will be with you always, right? That's Jesus' promise. I will be with you. It is a peaceful trust that we rest in him during our sleep. And also, 
communion with God, fellowship with God, even while we are sleeping at bed. That is the way. You can practice. Practice. In faith and in trust. May the Lord keep you safe, healthy, in your sleep, in your body, mind, soul, spirit, as well. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy on us. We pray for all those who are suffered from sleepless night, sleeplessness, insomnia, whatever reasons they may suffer. O oh Lord, touch your comforting hand upon them so that they can rest holy in your presence, in faith, in trust. Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. Shall we stand as we are able and join the closing hymn together? When we walk with the Lord in the light of his word, what a glory he shed on our ways. While we do not his will, he abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share, but our toil He does richly repay. Not a grief or a loss, not a swan or a cross, but is blessed if we trust and obey. Trust and obey, but there is no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. But we never can prove the delights of his love until all on the altar we ray for the favor he shows for the joy he bestows are for them who will trust and obey trust and obey for there is no other way but to trust it in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will see that is sweet, or we'll walk by his side in the way. What he says we will do, where he sends we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. Trust and obey, but there's no other way. Once we in Jesus, but to trust and obey. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious always. May the Lord turn his faces, countenance towards you and give you shalom, peace. Therefore, go now in peace and love and joy as you go back to your life in the world to live a new life in Jesus Christ.
as you go, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forever and evermore. Amen.